Hello, everybody. Who's this? That's Aaron Roberts. Limping. He's limping. He's hurt his foot. I mean, not stubbing toe, hurting foot. Achilles hurting foot. So um, he's going to do minimal walking, but maximum shouting. This is a fantastic all body workout. So one upper, one lower, one cardio, nine exercises in a row, 20 seconds each, 30 seconds each, 40 seconds each. It's gorgeous. You need a pair of dumbbells. If you haven't got dumbbells, don't switch it off and find another workout. Go and get two bottles of water. Seriously, you'll be knackered. So you'll be fine without anything really heavy. So the first one is squat with a curtsy lunge. I'll show you. So I'm just taking over. That's all right. Just away. <laughs> squat. Sorry, start again. Make sure you're nice and warm. Squat. Curtsy when lunge. You do these, squat. Start anyway. <laughs> curtsy lunge. Make sure you bring that back leg back. You're nice and straight. Yeah. So we'll get all the teaching points, of Aaron. And then there'll be 15 seconds in between each exercise, and I'll show you the next one. I've only showed you the first one, so that's all you're getting. So do grab your weights. Try and do as much as you can with the dumbbells. Okay, let's go. So the first only 20 seconds. So we'll feel nice and short and sharp. Make sure you don't neglect your squat. Take it nice and deep in your squats. When you bring that back leg back, try not to twist the knee. Stay square. So you're not, as you're bringing the knee back, you're not twisting your body round. Just there, nice and square. Chest is always pointing forward. It's only 20 seconds to start with. Good. Just rest it out. Shake them off. So the next one is one and a half shoulder press. So it's up all the way down, little half rep, and then all the way up. Okay, so we're going to do that for 20 seconds. Let's go now. Press, all the way down, little half rep, pop, pop, and press. Good, so the first set is only 20 seconds. So each set, we're going to add 10 seconds on, so it'll get progressively harder as you get tired. Boom! <laughs> Couple more reps. Good, and Rest, good, put the weights down. So nice and slow sumo squat jump. So a sumo squat, toes turn out, you jump. The slow part is the landing, so slow down, almost a little pause at the bottom, and then drive. Let's go. We try and keep those toes turned out the whole time, okay? So as you land, control that body down, little pause at the bottom, and then you drive. Like you're coiling a spring, so control it, and bang, explosive up. Couple more seconds. If you're lucky, try and hang around down here a bit longer. Couple more seconds. It's a bit lucky, won't notice that. <laughs> Just rest. Side lunge with a double pulse. We're back to our So you do with or without weights. I'm going to use weights. Side lunge. Just stepping away from your middle line. A little pulse in the middle. And then we go to the other side. So each time, we're doing a little pulse squat in the middle before you go into your opposite side. So let's go now. You step away, drive your hips backwards. When you do your side lunge, you've got to make sure that your hips are driving backwards, you're not just leaning forwards. Oh, it's really difficult with weights. <laughs> do a little double pulse in here, step away from the midline, drive your hips back. The foot that you're stepping away from, that stays planted and that's the one that stays long. Don't bend that to pull yourself up. Good, just rest. Normal standard press ups. Press up position, lots of different ways of doing a press up. Full, one knee, two knees, or box. Let's go now. So, Annie started on two knees. This is fine. <laughs> I think he's surprised at that. Shall I take him off? It's making me feel guilty now. your full ones. It's only 20 seconds. <laughs> These are your full ones. So, you just saw there that just a quick change in the knee position, but the upper body still stayed exactly the same. Good, just rest on your feet. So we're going to do a wide to narrow squat jump. So a narrow squat jump, toes almost together, pointing forward, a wide squat jump. So you're not, it's not a squat jack. You're not down, legs in, legs out. It's a jump in to each position. Let's go now. So you're jumping into each. Each one is a separate jump, okay? Land, feet wide. Try and keep those toes pointing forward the whole time. And don't neglect the squat part, it's a squat jump. So then you have to get those glutes down, really important. Another couple of reps. It is only 30 to start with. And rest. Grab your weights. So we're just going to do a remaining deadlift, a straight leg deadlift, which is here. So you need to listen to all the teaching points on this because otherwise, what's that about? 
We'll just show you a rep first. Doing some hamstrings. So chest up, shoulders back, back's nice and straight. So you're stretching the back of your leg, knees soft, and then standing up by pushing your hips forward down. Thrust your hips at the top so you don't leave them back. You're coming up to straight into here, squeezing those glutes. Let's go. So basically it's bottom up through the top window behind you, Stretch chest down. to the floor. If you have quite a lot of range in your hamstrings, you might have to bend your legs as much. So you don't want to be making it a squat. You don't want to be squatting down here and standing up. Yeah, you don't want to be doing that. Poor Aaron, he can't demonstrate that. <laughs> <laughs> Another couple of reps. So on the 20 seconds, again, it's not too bad. And you can afford to have heavier weights on that one. Good. So what you're going to do now, you're going to go into that deadlift position, and at the bottom of that deadlift position, so here, you're now going to do a row. So from this position, you're pulling the weights into your pocket. Okay? That's the next move. So you've already done the deadlift, so now you're just holding that position and you're squeezing. Let's go. 20 seconds here. See where the dumbbells come. Straight arms at the bottom. Don't just do little movements, okay? So you're straightening the arms and you're squeezing back towards your pocket, not your armpit. So we're not pulling back to here using our bicep. We're squeezing our shoulder blades and pulling with our back. And just rest. This is a great little workout. Ice skaters. Apart from the end bit. Skaters are right. Skaters. No, no hey, I don't mind skaters. So skaters, back leg comes round. So it's a little hop. Every time it's a hop. There is a lower impact version. But Anna's going to show you now. No, I can't. <laughs> so it's a little squat on a hamstring curl. Otherwise, you jump, you drive across. Let's go. 20 seconds. So as you land, you bring the back leg round. As soon as that back leg comes past the other leg, you're explosive onto the other side. Now that's a slow, now you get going. Now you get going, nice and quick on your finish with loads of pace, loads of power. A few more seconds, once you're comfortable with the legs, you can then start bringing the upper body in, a little rotation. Come on! And rest, good, we're going back to the top. So 15 seconds of the rest part will never change. 10, 15 seconds in between. The working time is going up by 10 seconds, so 30 this time. So grab your weights. Squat and a curtsy yet. lunge. <laughs> squat, curtsy, squat, curtsy. Let's go. So the time increased by 10 seconds. So as you start to get a little bit tired after the skaters, heart rate will be slightly up. Make sure when you squat, try and keep those toes fairly forward. If your hip means that you have to turn them out slightly, that's okay. But just don't neglect the squat as low as you can. If you struggle with a curtsy lunge, if you have issues with your knees, just do a normal reverse lunge. Yeah, and also you may walk that's with fine. a curtsy lunge. That's where, your core, that's where your core comes in to keep yeah. you nice and straight. Good, just rest. One and a half shoulder press. Keep holding your weights, don't put them down. So these are the press, half rep, and then up. Let's go. We don't need loads of rest in between. We have actually gone through all these exercises before. A little half rep. That's good coming from press. him, isn't it? He spent three days on the sofa with his leg up. Half rep. And press. Did he lots of rest? All the way down. Half rep. Snap. Good. Another 10 seconds. So we're here. Good Snap. Hands. Pause. Good. A few more reps to go. We've got those lovely sumo squat jumps next. Don't remind us. Good. Put the weights down. So just mind about the weight. You can put them in front of you. You're going to land on them, you don't know where they are. Sumo position, get low, let's get nice and low. Pause and drive, let's go. So 30 seconds now, and you're controlling the landing. It's all about controlling the landing, keeping those knees pushed out. So you're driving up, yes, it's through your quads. We're also trying to drive up through our ductors and firing those glutes up. 30 seconds, that's 10 seconds. It's getting very warm in here, Aaron. It will make a big difference. You've now hit 20, so now there's that 10 on. So you've done that once, now oh. that extra 10 is being added oh, on. Be quiet! Land and drive. <clears throat> Land slowly, hold and drive. Good, just rest it out. I'm not doing a second more of those. <laughs> Neither are they, are we? Do 40 of them next. Oh. Grab your weights. Side, double pulse, side lunge. Double pulse, side lunge. You're alternating the side. Remember that middle leg, it stays long. Let's go. All the way out. See, and it's the one that's stepping away from this middle one here. This one stays long and you pull it up. Long. So almost like you're trying to. Long legs. Almost like you're trying to pull yourself through that leg. You're trying to pull up through the adductors. 
30 seconds. Don't forget the double pulse. So step out, nice little pulse. What you're not doing is you're coming out of the side. You're not standing all the way up. Your legs are almost always slightly bent. Yeah, well, well I know, pulse. I know. Got it. <laughs> Another couple of seconds. Good, weights down, let's press up. 30 seconds. Press up position. Start with your strongest, and then you can regress down. Yes, sir. Let's go. If you start with your easiest, you've got nowhere to regress to. Okay? And you're not going to push up because you're not going to be getting stronger through the set. My level, I feel like my bottom's up. No, no, no. Better than it sagging down. Uh, you don't want your, you want your back nice and straight. Try and keep that head neutral, so you're not looking at the floor, we're not looking between our legs towards our feet. Everything's nice and straight from Okay, your... you can put one knee down, but only put it down where it is. Don't bring it forward onto your hips. And rest. Back on your feet. Wide to narrow squat jumps, these double ones. Wide <gasps> to narrow. Wide. Right. It's two jumps, it's not one jump. Let's go. So we jump out, we jump in. Each one is a separate jump. It's really important. You see a lot of people that just do squat jacks. Okay, we don't want to do that. Try and be explosive in your jumps, especially those narrow ones. You're going to get a little bit more explosive. This is an annoying voice behind us when we're having a nice time in our squat jumps. In those narrow jumps. It is a squat. Remember, it's a squat jump. So you're not just <gasps> your calves, you're getting that bum to the floor. Yeah, we know. Get that range in your squat and drive up. Open his feet up, land light. Open his feet up, land light. Oh, come on. Good, just rest. Must be over. Shake him off. No, oh, he's limping. Deadlifts. So we're here with that deadlift. Put that head down. Grab your weights. Yeah, he's going to demo the deadlift. Good Wait till the double burpees come along. We'll do those, see. Let's go. It's important what you do is a lot of people, they find that to keep their chest up, they lift their head up. You don't want to do that. So you don't want to be here. You're going to be there, neutral. You can, still yeah. pop, you can still pop your chest and keep your back straight. Glutes. So if, you find that you're, if you find that you're rounding your back, think about being a duck. So stick your bum out like a duck. Yeah. Stick it out and then blow up through the hamstrings, keeping your back straight. So it's a hip hinge. Come on, you duck faces around the world. Come on. Hip hinge. You want to be able to hinge at the hip. So you don't need to take your dumbbells all the way to the floor. Then go that mid calf. Just, just rest. So what we're going to do is going to go back into that half deadlift position. So just here, if you've got really, really tight calves, you might, uh, hamstrings, you might even struggle to get over that far. Let's row. So now we're pulling with our back. We're trying to use our lats, big muscle in your back. So the big muscle that sits here, you're trying to squeeze them together, not do a bicep curl. Okay? A little bit of bicep when you're pulling in, it will activate your biceps slightly, but we're really trying to get them elbows backwards. Pulling through the back. Make sure you straighten those arms at the bottom, get that full range. I can't stop putting in puffing. All the way down and squeeze. Big stretch to the bottom. So there's big muscle glutes, everybody, that's why we're puffing. Good, just rest, put See, them down, do skaters need, to finish. So none of that, you need that. And then they're round oh, backs. Bottom. Hmm. Skaters. Pace, speed, 30 seconds, Twist. go now. So even if you're doing the low impact version where you're not jumping doesn't mean you go slow. Remember, it's still quick. It's low impact, not low intensity. You can still put the pace in, you can still put the work in. Come on! You can still drive for 30 seconds. You nearly count out 20, come a little jump. Get that back leg round. Bring the back leg round, activate those glutes. Inside the last 10 seconds, come on, come on, pace for us. Go, 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 go. All the way through and rest. One more set, 40 seconds. So we're adding another 10 on. Time for fingers and ears and go la la la. <laughs> Squat and curtsy. Grab your weights. That's enough rest. It's 15 seconds. Squat and curtsy. If you can't curtsy or you find that your technique has fallen apart completely, just go into a reverse lunge. Let's go. Squat and curtsy. So the curtsy lunge, you're bringing your back leg across the outside of your base leg. And you still face the camera with your shoulders and your chest, okay? So I'm not twisting. turning around like that. So you're not twisting. I'm not just back your knee. It's going to be too much stress on the knee. Everything stays nice and straight. And not enough on your glute. Control back. Don't worry if you wobble. 
Everyone has a little wobble, that's fine. Especially if you start to get a little bit tired. Yeah, we're all wobbling around the world with 40 seconds, aren't we? We're all having little wobbles. At least have the last 10 minutes now. 10 for 10 seconds gets added on. It's good. Okay, just rest. One and a half shoulder press. So stand up nice and tall. Breathe in. And press. Let's go. So up, all the way down. Half reps. So try not to go too high on the half rep, that's alright. You kind of want it to go just around the line of your head. If you haven't got a mirror or anything to look into, it's quite hard to judge that. That's why I keep putting my hand here. Just so you've got a rough idea of how high she can go. Don't just throw the weights up on that half rep either. You're not just flicking them up and yeah, down. Yeah, it's not that. It's, it's a control. Place them. It's, a, it's an actual rep. The half is a rep on its own. Another five seconds, you'll get another maybe one, possibly two reps out. Weights down, sumo squat jumps. Oh, we've been looking forward to these, haven't we? Sumos, toes out, knees out. It's not a normal squat jump. Let's go. And it's slow. Remember the slow, controlled landing and the pause before you drive. Get your knees out. Come on, you'll find your knees start to collapse in. There's quads are getting tired, glutes are getting tired. We're not bouncing, so the pause and the slow part is forcing you to fire up those quads. So you're landing, control, pause, drive. You're not just bouncing up and down, okay? We've got another 15 seconds. Come on, keep Come on! Don't stop. Don't ah. just pause because you're getting tired. Ah. You don't mind tired, you like tired. Inside the last five. Come on, keep Come on. on. Pause and drive. There. Pause and drive. Get up as high as you can. As high as you can. Rest. Grab your weights. I'm going over here to cry. <laughs> side lunge, double pulse, side lunge, double pulse. Grab your weights, we're back into it again. Come on, we're finishing strong, we always finish strong. Let's go. Side lunge, move backwards. Stick that thumb out at the bottom of the, of the side lunge. So when you step away, go right back. Little double pulse, side lunge. Don't forget the double pulse. I know you want to do it quickly as well, so try and don't. Get rid of it, but don't. You're under time, so don't worry. Just focus on that technique. Don't stand up completely on the way in from the side lunge. So we're keeping a little bit of tension on those quads into that double pulse, not a full squat. It's a little pulse squat. Ten more seconds. Possibly another rep on each side. That's all we're going to get. Last few. Finish with a double pulse. And press ups. Good. Down into press up position. Start strong. Even if you're getting tired, I don't care. Start strong. <laughs> Let's go. 40 seconds of press ups now. It's a long time. So you've got to stay focused, you've got to stay strict. Right, I'm going to do 10 of these and I'm putting one knee down if I feel I can't do anymore. Try and keep the head up. As you get tired, what's happening is the muscles in the base of your neck and your upper back, they're getting tired. So your head starts to dip down. Try to keep it up and put as much as you can through the line of your chest. We've still got another 10 seconds to go. So you can start driving these out if you want. If you want to start driving them out, you can start getting a few more reps. Try Come on! The reps. Be strong in the reps. Loads of reps. And rest. Good one, well done. Wide to narrow squat jumps. That would be like a picnic compared to those. Jump, jump, jump. Let's go. Squat. Did you know the 15 seconds rest? Did they go? It took 10 minutes to get off the floor. <laughs> nice wide, control, wide, good. Really good with the narrow ones. Toes pointing forward, get your feet nice and wide. Come on, tip top people. Toes pointing forward. Don't make it a sumo, you've done those already. Yeah. If you have to turn them out a little bit because of your hips, that's fine, but don't force them out. Runny nose. Oh man, come, come on. on. We're nearly inside the last 10 seconds now. Come here, 10 seconds now, land. And go again. Land and go again. Each set. Each rep is separate. Always try the next rep, even if you're tired. Try the next rep. Try the next rep. Rest. Superb. Mm. Deadlifts. <sighs> Deadlifts. See, Annie's got quite uh, hamstrings. She's got a lot of range there, okay? So she can get quite far down. Some of you might have really tight glutes and hamstrings. You might need to get to here. Is that until, movement okay? until you feel a really 
Tight pull in your hamstring. So poking your bum. Keeping your back nice and straight. And then squeeze up. Let's go. So someone says poke your bum out through the top window. Stick it out. And lift your toes. You do that. All the way to going through the heels. If you're near a wall, try and touch the wall with your glutes. So in this position, try and stick your pushing backwards. So you're not nice leaning squeeze. over, you're pushing back. And the bottom of the movement, try and tense those glutes. That's what you want to do at the bottom of the movement, squeeze your bum cheeks together and hold it all the way up. Good work. Nice stretch in the hamstring, squeeze that body up. Everyone's range is different, it's your hamstring that will dictate that. Good, just rest, so stand up, just give that back a little shake off, and you're going to go back into that half deadlift position for the dumbbell rows. So get into position and squeeze. Elbows are going up, shoulder blades are squeezing together, big muscles in your lats. Don't let them go out here, get them right behind you. Try and put the weights in your pocket. Just like you're trying to put them in your pocket, your back pocket. Just squeeze it in there. You should feel it possibly around the base of your rib cage. Almost like you're trying to pull your ribs behind you, squeezing them back. We've still got another 10 seconds. Watch your head. And the spine needs to stay neutral. All Come that. on! Another couple of reps. Put them down. We've got skaters to finish. Did you hear the F word? <laughs> finish! 40 seconds. Oh, that's another one for you. Let's go. Land and go. So we're going to work through the 40 seconds, okay? Nobody stop. Don't no. stop. No! You've got to push through it. You put it on, this is the end now. We always finish strong. 40 seconds to do. Whichever version you're doing, whether it's the full version, the high impact version, or the low impact version, you still put as much effort in as you can. No one hold back. 20 seconds go. Land and drive. Land and drive. Come on. Land and drive. Get that back leg round. Make sure that back leg is coming all the way around. Twist those hips. We are at 30 seconds now. So now we're inside the last 10. Come on, now you've got to push to the end. Pace up. This Come way. on! Stop. This is where you start to get going. It's where you really go all the way in and rest. Great work. Well done. Rest it out. Well done. Did you hear that? Well done! <laughs> that good. Listen, everybody. Amazing, and that is a great little workout for everything. So in those skaters, you use the core, did you feel that? I can't have got the breath to say anymore. Other than well done, thank you very much. See you again soon.